Hi guys, welcome to PC Tips Pro. In this video today, I'm going to explain you how you can install the Norton Mobile Security in your iPhone. If you have not activated your uh, Norton Security yet, you, you will have to first activate your Norton Security with your product key which you have purchased. And if you want any instruction, the guideline instructions, then you can go to my channel video playlist and you can find that there is a video I have explained how to activate your Norton Security. So after activating your Norton Security, you can come on your mobile phone, which is your iPhone. And you can see, you can follow the same instructions which I'm following here to install the Norton Security in your iPhone. So first, you need to go to the App Store. You can see this is the App Store here. So you can open the App Store. Make sure you have already your email address and the password uh, for your Norton account. So now I'm in the App Store here. And when you open the App Store, you will find there is a search button at the right bottom corner. So I will click on this search. I will tap that option. And when I tap that search option on the top, it's coming up search for games, apps, stories and more. So I will tap that one and will type Norton. When I type Norton, it's giving me a search results. The second uh, suggestion is giving the Norton mobile security. So I will tap that one. Now when I tap the Norton mobile security, you can see the second search result coming up, which is Norton mobile security. So this is the one which I need to get in my phone. So I will tap this get option and then Apple phone will ask for your authorization either to the touch ID or by entering your password, which is your iPhone uh, iCloud password, which is your Apple ID password. So once I tap that option, it will start installing the Norton security, Norton mobile security in my iPhone. As you can see, it's downloading now. It will take some time to get it downloaded completely. Okay. So it's done now. He here you can see. Now when, once the install uh, download will complete, there is an option will come up which says open. So I will tap this option which says open. Now you can see it's opening up the Norton mobile security and this is the interface of the Norton security in the phone. Now once you open the Norton security, it will give you two options. Either subscribe now. So if you don't have the license, if you don't, if you have not purchased your Norton security, then you can uh, subscribe from here also. And if you already have a Norton subscription, then you can click on this sign in button because I already have got the Norton subscription. So the next screen, it will ask you to log in with your Norton email and the password. So here you can see it's asking me to enter the Norton email and the password. So I will just go ahead and enter my credentials and will click on. So guys, uh, when I will enter this email address, the my email address with the Norton and the password. And when I tap the option, which is sign in, it will redirect me to the next screen where you can see security, security would like to send you the notifications. So I will click on this allow. Now here you can see I'm in uh, of the Norton security here. Uh, you can see attention required the device security risk found. So I will just go ahead and make sure uh, I already have installed and I already have logged into the Norton security, but it need to be configured properly in your iPhone so that one can have the maximum security. So you can see when I log in into the account here, you can see the subscription status is active, but here you can see the device security is risk found and the web security is a setup required. So I will tap this device security and now you can see it's saying here that warning OS out of date. That means 
my operating system is out of date so in order to fix this issue I will have to go ahead and update my operating system of this phone now second thing it's saying web protection which is setup required so I will tap that option and you can see secure your browsing with web protection and it's asking me to click on this setup now so I will click on this setup then again it's asking me to saying that uh, security would like to add the VPN configuration so I will click on this allow option and then you can see it asking me to touch that to unlock now you can see the web protection the web protection is inactive now it's activating here you can see it's act the web protection is active now so I will go back right so both issues uh, which was coming up when I activated the Norton security when I installed the Norton security the first one was coming up it's still coming up here you can see device security which is risk found and the second one the web protection is fixed now so here the device security let me repeat again it's showing here because my operating system is out of date that means uh, I don't have the updated version of the uh, iPhone uh, operating system maybe I'm not sure maybe I've I mean the Apple team have launched the new operating system maybe I have not updated that one this is the reason the Norton is giving this type of notification here so in next video I will explain you how you can update your operating system in your iPhone so guys that is all this is the way how you can install your Norton security once you will uh, install this Norton security the way I have explained your phone will be completely secured with the Norton security so thank you so much for watching this video and guys please like and subscribe my channel thank you